Hey YouTube, the top knife is the Blackhawk Crucible 2 folding knife and the bottom knife is the Blackhawk FX2 Crucible uh, fixed blade knife. Uh, as you can see, these are kind of a, a folder and fixed blade pair and that's why I think it makes the most sense to review them both in the same review. Obviously the ergonomics uh, are almost identical and that's intentional. It, it's more efficient for training purposes because the training will carry over between these two. Now the you see the blade and tip design drop points extra wide. All right, they are both partial hollow grinds. OS 8 Japanese stainless steel. These are both uh, manufactured in Taiwan for Blackhawk. All right, the handle scale material G10 nice textured G10. The texture is similar to that on uh, a lot of cold steel knives like the cold steel recon one. All right, and you see they both have the uh, you know the typical uh, black Teflon blade finish. Now the blade length on these it's about 3.4 inches all right, and the actual edge length you know it's a little bit less than that. Uh, I think these are meant to get under some of the length restrictions that are in some areas, some cities. All right, I think they should sell these as a set and I think they should also make a trainer version. I think that would sell very well. All right, and let's take a closer look at these. Oh, and if you hear noises outside, the window is open, so cars, nature, yeah. All right, here you see the folder, kind of a brickwork texture pattern. Uh, the pocket clip, it comes set up for right side, tip up, carry. And notice it is a four position clip, so that's good, adjustable to whatever you need. All right, and you see it is open pillar construction. All right, you see the steel liners there. The opening facility, thumb studs, they are a good distance from the handle scale, so pretty easy to open. It locks securely. It is a liner lock mechanism. Texture on the liner there. Speaking of texture, they also give you some there. And on the base of the spine of the knife, right, so comply more pressure in that way. Extra wide drop point. Right, you see it is a shallow partial hollow grind swedge up there and there is a tubed tubed lanyard hole right there and overall you see the shape of the handle you know it's definitely meant to lock you in it, it definitely gives gives a good grip all right let's uh let's take a look at the fixed blade all right see the, the same type of very grippy texture pattern there. Similar blade, you know, obviously very penetrating type tip and it widens out for maximum damage. You know, they clearly designed it, clearly designed it like that. All right, they even give you some texture on that. Full tang, obviously. But overall, for a knife that's less than three and a half inches in blade length, you know, it's it would be a very effective weapon for that short length and obviously uh, Blackhawk primarily markets its uh, its products to uh, military and law enforcement and uh, I think you know I think they made this small fixed blade because a lot of police they might want to carry a fixed blade but because of uh, some of the public perceptions you know they might not necessarily be able to carry you know, like a full-size K-bar or something. So they want a fixed blade that can kind of blend in with the other items on their belt. This is the sheath, which comes with the uh, fixed blade. All right. You can see it, it locks in like so. All right. It's pretty secure. It doesn't make any noise. And they even give you texture here, you know, for the, for the deployment. You just push off with your thumb. And so it's a good sheath. And obviously you see uh, the eyelets all around. This comes with multiple, multiple pieces of mounting hardware so you can mount it for belt carry. Uh, Blackhawk is known for giving you a large amount of hardware for different options. All right, and uh, you know, I, I have not carried this because the area where I live in, we have no specific, we don't have a length limit. Okay, so I am not, I am not limited 
to uh, any certain length so I could if I felt the need you know I would go an even bigger fixed blade the fixed blade They come fairly sharp, maybe not razor blades, but um, I'd say high sharpness. All right, and here we have a size comparison between the Crucible 2 folder and the, uh, the now discontinued Kershaw Cyclone. As you can see, you know, obviously Blackhawk or Masters of Defense if you go back. Um, not the first to have come to this type of design. Uh, a very pointed drop point that widens out. Uh, there are a lot of benefits to that design, uh, you know, not just as a weapon, but uh, an extra wide blade, it gives you a fuller, be fuller belly, it gives you more grind area to work with, so just overall more cutting power. It's a way to put more cutting power into a shorter length of blade, alright, and uh, it is, it is uh, very similar to that Kershaw Cyclone, which is one of my favorite uh, old school knives. And here is another size comparison to the Cold Steel Espada uh, medium size. Uh, the Cold Steel Espada is uh, kind of like the king of uh, extra wide designs. Um, definitely quite, quite a beast, right? quite a tactical beast. But there you see very similar uh, handle texture on those. And again, uh, when a knife company is looking to make, uh, you know, an effective, uh, effective implement of violence and they're trying to keep the length down, they often end up making the blade wider. And uh, it's a very effective design tactic. And uh, I definitely recommend this Espada, by the way. Here is a size comparison with the Crucible FX2 fixed blade. It was difficult to find something to actually compare it to. One thing I found that was similar was this United Magnum push dagger. Actually, look how similar the blades are. Almost the, almost the same shape, almost the same width. All right, so, you know, going along, going along with that idea that it's kind of like a push dagger blade on a conventional handle, you know, you might not be, you can't use it like a push dagger, but you could certainly put it in the reverse grip and lash out strongly. All right, so you could almost, you know, kind of a punch with it, kind of a hammer fist from the inside type of punch, but just an idea. Um, you know, both both pretty effective, pretty effective implements. All right, so overall, these are good, solid knives. I would describe the quality is probably similar to the Cold Steel Recon One. You know, same steel, same type of handle scales. Both, you know both made in Taiwan. It's pretty much that level of quality, which I feel is pretty much appropriate for the price point. Um, yeah, the only things I don't like, the Teflon coating, and they could come down a little on the price of the fixed blade, but overall, these are solid knives. If you need something in this blade length, I think this would mostly be for police officers, security, you know, uniform personnel. I hope this Double review has been useful to you. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm out of here.